Hi, Ms. Caban. It's Dr. Langer here in New York City. I'm just looking at your angiogram. Uh, this is your angiogram of the right common carotid artery. It's a little hard to see exactly what this is, but this is the top of your skull here, and this is the right side of your head. We're looking front as if you're facing towards us. This is your right hemisphere, and this is your left. Pockets are right here just to give an idea of where the... If you look here, this is actually the internal carotid artery coming up into your skull, and then it makes a couple of turns, and then there should be big arteries coming off of this, and they're missing. It, it, this is what Moya Moya disease looks like. The, the vessels above this point in the carotid often will occlude and get very narrow, and then you get sort of secondary supply of blood flow to your brain. As we look at other views, this is actually in your neck. The carotid looks fine, nice and smooth. It's only in your head that it gets diseased. Up here, you can see what some of these funny vessels look like. This is the carotid coming up, and once again, it just you have this vessel branching off, but you just get this little puff, this, is this puff of smoke type arteries associated with moy moy disease. You should have vessels about this size or this size up here, you're just missing. That's on this view. Now on the other side, this is the left side, you have the same problem. This is an artery coming out of the artery that's not, it's actually helping you, it's giving you blood flow to the brain from a different location. But the two main arteries of the carotid artery are once again gone on the left side. Now I understand you have numbness in your left arm and some weakness in your left arm, so it's really probably the right hemisphere that's causing those symptoms. In a bilateral disease, it's very worrisome, and especially in light of the fact that you're having some, don't think there's anything to do for you, but are aggressively trying to get more blood flow to people's brains when they have this kind of disease. Um, if you look at this view, there's actually a, a vessel in the back of your head called the vertebral artery, and here the vertebral arteries, these vessels feeding forward are normally not there. This is an attempt to get more blood flow forward um, into the hemisphere, and this is uh, on the right, that same vessel here, coming forward into the, you know, into the area that normally gets the blood flow from those bigger arteries in the front. So this back vessel's filling, you know, front to back to front, uh, which is abnormal. So uh, what you probably should do, my office will be in contact with you. I think you need, will need a little bit more of a workup prior to my final recommendation. But looking at your films, I do think it's probable that we recommend a revascular, which means more blood flow to the brain. If you need to get a hold of us, you can email us. You can speak to Andrea, my nurse, and we'll uh, hopefully meet you soon. Take care.